All right, so this is the Painted Serpent. I believe it's a cucumber and it's not a squash. Uh, this is the leaf to it. It's really down to the end of the year and it's really not even growing anymore, but it's still alive. And I think if I pick this cucumber, it might grow a little more. But here's the flowers to it. Hopefully it focuses in. Okay, that's what the flower looks like. Here's the leaf shape of it. That's a little one. Let me see if I can get, show you a bigger leaf. There's not much left. It's almost completely died out. It almost looks like a melon leaf. So that's the leaf to it. And that's really about it. I mean, this plant is like on its last leg. It's like, I don't even know how it's still growing. I think the vine that this cucumber is on is actually dead. So there's nothing left there. I don't think I have any more cucumbers coming out of this thing. I don't know if this is a cucumber. It's called Painted Serpent. So I don't know if it's a gourd, a cucumber, a squat. I don't really know what that is. It's just known as Painted Serpent. It, to me, it looks like a striped Armenian cucumber. So it could be a striped Armenian cucumber. I'm not 100% sure. Here's another one. It didn't, it didn't really form right. It's very soft. I mean, you could eat this just the way it is. You know, it's very soft and doesn't really want to grow anymore. It's really at the end of the year. Most of my cucumbers are now all dead. I think I got a couple cucumber vines that are like just hanging in there. But they're pretty much all dead. But this, we're going to pick and we're going to crack it open for you. And we're going to take a look at it. I'm, I'm not going to be able to get to it today, so I'll probably bring this inside. I'll crack it open the next day, and you won't know that, but you'll see it on the same video. So we'll bring this in and take a look at it from there. We'll cut it open and check it out. See you there. Wow, look how big this thing is. I mean, this thing's huge, man. I don't know if I'm supposed to eat that thing or cook it or what, but, man, this thing is absolutely huge. I'm going to bring this thing in. I'd have to say this is close to three feet long, to tell you the truth. It's very soft, and I got it balanced right now. So it's just standing there on its own. But it's kind of soft, like it's rubbery almost. I mean, if I was to, like, shake the thing, it'd snap in half. But this thing's absolutely huge. Look at the stripes on that thing. Look at that. It almost looks like a cigar or cactus. <laughs> without the spines I hope the seeds are good in there I want to keep seeds to this thing because there's no possible way I'm going to eat all of this I mean I'll eat what I can but for the most part I really want the seeds to mature but the vine is dead so it can't really grow anymore so alright we'll cut it open and take a look at it all right, so let's cut this sucker open and see what's on the inside. Now, you can see how soft it is. See how spongy this thing is? I don't know if it's supposed to be that spongy. Oh, it looks like it may have rotted. Smells like a cucumber. Can you see that nice and clear? That's what it looks like. And it's not that it's rotted. It got spongy some of the areas of it. This, the end of it seems like it might be. Look at this thing. <laughs> I mean. Oh, man. It smells all right. It doesn't smell rotten or anything. The inside is really mushy. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to eat that, man. Ugh. Spongy. Taste a little piece of it like that. See if that tastes any good. I got to taste another piece. This is really, really strange. I probably shouldn't have let it sit around as long as it has. It's been sitting around a while. I mean, from when you see the earlier part of the video, this is about a week later. So that's already a week gone by. And then this has been sitting on a vine like that for, I don't know, a month and a half, two months. So 
probably two months old this thing is. So you probably don't want to wait that long until the whole inside gets mushy like that. But now I know the seeds are definitely ripe and they're matured and now I could get decent seeds out of it. So let me taste another piece of this. I'm going to describe the flavor of this thing. This is really, really strange. Hold on. Let me describe the texture first. The texture on the, on the rind part of it is kind of spongy, but it kind of reminds me of eggplant kind of a spongy. It's kind of like eating a raw piece of eggplant. But the interesting thing about this, whatever this thing is, uh, I don't know if it's, I don't think it's an Armenian cucumber. It smells like cucumber, but it doesn't taste like cucumber. It's sweet. It's got a very sweet taste to it. It tastes almost like a melon, to be honest with you. It tastes a little like like a cantaloupe melon, but very lightly in flavor. Not heavy, strong cantaloupe flavor. Very lightly, it tastes a little bit like cantaloupe. It does have a sweetness like cantaloupe, as bizarre as that may sound. It has a smell of a cucumber, and there is a slight cucumber flavor to it, but not a lot of it. It's just, it's very strange. I did not expect that at all from this thing. And that's really strange. It's like the aftertaste kind of comes in as cucumber. But the main taste of it kind of tastes like a cantaloupe, but very lightly. Not very strong cantaloupe flavor. And it's sweet, like a melon. It's not real sweet, but it's just sweet enough for you to know that, notice that it's sweet. It's just really strange. I, it's, I don't see. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if this thing's a melon or if it's a cucumber or what. It's very pleasant. It's a very pleasant fruit or vegetable to eat. I probably would have preferred to pick it while it was still a little bit younger. Because right now, like I said, it's very soft. Look at. See how I'm pushing on this thing, how soft this is? So a little more riper than I'd like. The, the seeds on the inside is totally, it's way overripe on the, on the inside. It's the, really the only place I could save seeds is on the very tip of this thing. Seeds are all on the very end of it. Outside of that, the rest of the seeds don't look like they're really any good. I mean, I could still eat this. I just don't want to eat the very inside of it. I don't mind the spongy part, but... I'll see if I could cut a piece off the top and see if it tastes the same or... The seeds were like a flash of sour, almost bitter. There was no seed in it, it was just a gel. But the gel had a lot of the melon flavor in it. Very strong melon flavor. I was expecting this thing to be very bland in flavor because it's the top. This is like the most flavorful part right here. The only thing that's throwing me off right now is the fact that it's overripe and it's kind of getting mushy almost. And it's kind of getting spongy and the seeds are like watery, soft, falling out of the thing. It's a little on the gross side, but it, the taste of it tastes perfectly fine. It's just the very center part where the seeds were was kind of like sour, but it had like a had a very strong melon flavor to it probably more than the rest of it very strong and melon flavor very 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 strange fruit i gotta look up a little bit more info on this thing the, the seed companies don't really post anything about what you're actually buying or eating where it came from what was it normally used for you know that kind of thing they don't really they might make one little line and that's it you're left in the dark about exactly what this thing is you have to do all the research on your own but I will tell you, it's a very interesting melon. I'm going to call it a melon. I, don't, I honestly don't think it's a... Any, it's not a gourd. It's not a cucumber, I don't think. It, if it is a cucumber, it's a cross between a cucumber and, and, a, and a melon. I don't know. That is really bizarre, this thing. Yeah, if it wasn't for the fact that it's kind of... You could see. See how I'm squeezing it and it's like dripping all over my thing? It's if it wasn't for that fact, I'd probably eat this whole thing no problem. But it's kind of mushy. It's a little kind of grossing me out a little bit. But the taste of it isn't bad. It's not bad at all. It actually tastes really good. So I'm hoping I could get some decent seeds out of this, and I'm gonna grow these out a little bit more in detail next year. I'm gonna kind of make a lattice specifically for this and get really good soil and. See if we could grow a bunch of those out, and if I, if they taste any better when they're younger, 
and maybe let a few more ripen out in the yard fully and see. Have to fool around with this one. This is definitely worth looking into. It's very different. When I bought, when I first bought the seed for this, I didn't know it was. I thought it was an ornamental thing. You know, I didn't think it was even edible. So I thought it was like an ornamental thing. But now that I've actually eaten the thing, I'm definitely gonna. I want to focus on this one a little because I kind of like that contrast of that sweetness in it. But yet it's like a cucumber. Definitely, if you've never grown a painted serpent before, definitely give this one a go. Again, I don't know if this is the striped Armenian cucumber. I'm pretty sure this is not. This is something different. I'm pretty sure now, after tasting it, that this is not a striped Armenian cucumber. Because I grow to regular Armenian cucumbers, and they taste like cucumber. And I've eaten those things, too, when they gotten overripe and all. And they taste like cucumber all the way through. They don't get sweet. This thing's actually sweet. But yeah, if you see the Painted Serpent and you want to pick them up and give them a try, I, de I definitely say uh, pick up the seeds, give it a go, You'll, you won't be disappointed. And I'm going to be growing this again next year, so we'll see if we can get bigger fruit. But I'll leave links in the description below for Amazon, you can check them out. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.